Okay, you're sitting down driving in a car, you're burning calories. The goal is to maximize those three areas of how we burn calories. The one that we're in control of the most is food. Because if you're fortunate today, you get to eat. And if you eat the way I'm going to explain right now, you're going to actually improve your mental clarity, you're going to improve your energy, and that means you're going to be more productive at work. And people who get leaner make more money. Proven scientifically a fact. People who are leaner and healthier and eat the way I'm going to talk about have better sleep patterns. Number one driver for why people aren't making it to work, number one hindrance for like health concerns at all the big corporations, lack of sleep. So if you're not getting your sleep, if you're not eating the way we're talking about, you're really not going to maximize your business. It's just, it's just a reality. Because all the people that I've been around, all the top executives, most of them are pretty lean. And most of them find time to exercise and take care of themselves because when you make that kind of money and you get to where you want to be, the last thing you want is to leave this earth and not get the opportunity to enjoy it. I mean, that's the way I look at it, at least. So <laughs> you work with sister CEO and she helps you get there and then you've been eating like crazy and not doing all the things that really support a healthy lifestyle, then it's over. I mean, at least the kids and the people that you leave behind get it, but it would have been nice if you could have had time to enjoy it. Make sense? Amen? Okay. So we wake up in the morning. Let's say it's 7 o'clock a.m. Before 8 o'clock, you're going to eat breakfast or you're going to eat a snack. Once you start eating, the clock starts. See, when a baby is born, raise your hand if you had a baby. I love to look around and see if any guys raise it. Hey. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> 2012. Okay. But I understand what you're saying. I have two little girls. <laughs> okay, so when, you, when, when a baby is born and you ask the doctor, okay, how often do I feed the baby? The doctor says, feed the baby every two to three hours. If you ask the other question that I asked as a concerned first-time parent, well, when does the clock start? Well, when they start eating, that's when the clock starts. So if you start at 7 a.m. eating, then you're going to eat before 10 a.m., the same as a baby. And if a baby goes too long without eating, they scream and it gets louder and louder and louder because you're no longer nurturing their metabolism. You're no longer nurturing their health and overall wellness. When we're babies, we get that because it's part of the deal. But when we're adults, something has taken place where we get disrupted and we start using things like caffeine and other things and time, and we get away from the nurturing experience of metabolism. Nurture your metabolism and you'll get the results you want. Homeostasis will just take place. You'll just get leaner just because you're eating. So you start eating at 7, then you want to eat again between 2 to 3 hours later. So that would be no later than 10 a.m. You, you don't want one second to go by. Then you eat again. So maybe it's going to be lunch. It could be 12 o'clock, 12.30. If you're not going to be able to eat lunch, then you snack. Then 2 to 3 hours later, you eat. Then 2 to 3 hours later, you eat. Then 2 to 3 hours later, you eat.